Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at a very, very hotly anticipated model box set, the Sisters of Battle Canon S. We've finally got an HQ choice for the Sisters of Battle, which isn't a big diorama St. Catherine or an odd floaty throne Junith Arusha or a fluttery flying Saint Celestine. They're all lovely models. I have them all, I've reviewed them, I've gushed about them, but now finally we've got a main course version of uh, an HQ, a model that provides you with uh, many options in terms of weapons, that has solid rules and isn't too expensive, but both in price and uh, points cost in game. Finally, it's available. You did get a Canon S in the Sisters of Battle army set that came out uh, last year, I think end of November uh, time, but that was in one pose and it only had one weapon option. This one has multiple and we'll go through and have a look at them all in this unboxing. So first of all, price point, £22.50. I think that's quite fair for your main HQ choice for your Sisters of, of Battle. You can get away with two boxes of Sisters of Battle, or even one box really, and this Canon S, and then you've got a start of a little army, maybe add something expensive later on like an Immolator or an uh, Exorcist. To put it in perspective though, uh, a normal Space Marine Captain, which has nowhere near the same number of options, is 18 pounds and he has a, a combi grav bolt gun a uh, little bit of a scenic base he, he's very short the primaris captain again is the same price as this canon s but only has two uh ranged weapon options and a power sword uh to to choose from doesn't have a power fist or anything like that which is very bad in terms of value and uh very high price point this model for £22.50, you're getting a good deal. If you're on the fence about buying this Canon S, just pick one up now for your Sisters of Battle Army. Compared to the other HQ choices out there, this one offers many more options. So much so that I'll definitely be picking up a, a second one uh, in the not too distant future. So, with the help of Seki City Japan, uh, let's unwrap this plastic film and have a look at this thick box. It's a thick one, guys. Oh, anybody else like a thick one? Look at that. Thicker than a Dialogus. Maybe not two Dialoguses. Dialogi, I don't know what the plural, anyway. Um, so this is just a taster, but a taste of what's available in the box. Um, on the front of the box, she's got her, I think that's a, a rod of office, possibly, and a Condemma bolt gun. It's like a bolt gun but with an added crossbow element to it. Um, very good against psychers. And then on the reverse, you've got the same Canon S, yeah, believe it or not, um, with a power sword and a torch. Well, they pimp out the name a little bit by calling it a brazier of holy fire. Or a chainsword, or a plasma pistol, a bolt pistol, inferno pistol, and so on. Multiple heads as well, always good to receive multiple head. So, uh, let's unbox this. So this is a thick one, so I'm expecting good things. <laughs> oh, that's a heavy one as well, heavy thick one. So this is the instruction guide right here. You've got her with this uh, rod of, look at this, amazing. Look at all these colors, blue, green, red, um, fantastic, so. You've got a choice, choice of parts. Shui de Alamont. That's a terrible French accent, of course. Uh, so that looks to be quite straightforward. And then this is where it gets juicy. So you can have her with the power sword on the back. That's good from a WYSIWYG point of view. You can say she's got that blessed blade or a power sword um, sheathed. Here you go, look, blessed blade there. Um, with a power sword and then a chain sword. So if she's got these two weapons, she's got the power plant with the sheath. Uh, if she's got the chain sword, the power sword or the blessed blade, then she hasn't got one with a sheath. And alternatively, she also has this little iron halo thing, which she has to have. 
So look, there you go. And then as for the heads, you've got a choice of four heads or four weapons. Now she can't just have a bolt gun, she has to have a condemner bolt gun, so you have to put that crossbow bit on there. But then she's got plasma pistol, bolt pistol or inferno pistol. So really you have multiple options there. You can pick uh, five different melee weapons and four different uh, range weapons, short range weapons of course, or four different heads. So that is 13 different options in total. Amazing. And then it goes straight onto the rules for her, which are there. They're lovely. She's a cheap power points cost of a three, which is lovely for a, a weapon skill and ballistic skill two plus model, uh, something with five wounds and four attacks and save of three plus and an invulnerable save, which is actually mentioned over here, uh, right here with the Rosarius that she's got. Um, but yeah. Rod of Office or Null Rod. Um, I take it you can call them whichever, you know, whether that's a Rod of Office or a Null Rod. Um, it says it's a Null Rod, so she doesn't technically have a Rod of Office, but you, you, you could call it a Rod of Office. You know, there'll be no issues there. And then she's got a lovely in-depth paint guide at the back. So this really is the real deal, this, this uh, Canon S. Um, worth the wait, although I would have preferred her to uh, be revealed uh, at the Sisters of Battle, you know, the Battle Sister uh, box sets. Um, that would have been great if she was a, a, around then. But you get a 32mm base. Uh, this is the little cutout. And let's have a look at these juicy parts. So on this sprue, you've got the power plant with the uh, sword in the sheath. It could be a blessed blade, it could be a power sword call it what you like. You've got this bit of scenery. Wow, I didn't actually see the, the top of the scenery, but you've got three fleur-de-lis icons, um, a little hole where I think her, her, one of her feet will go. Uh, you've got the brazier. You've got part of the, her cloak. You've got the front of her uh, power armor, very ornate. Um, you've got some beads on there, grenade. Uh, you've got a couple of small fleur-de-lis icon adorned tacits. You've got a power plant, you get two, the two different power plants, of course. Um, you've got a different front power chest armor as well. So you can have her with many, many beads or not as many and with a book and grenades or with the tacits and a, and a grenade uh, and an inverted fleur de lis icon there as well. Interesting. So yeah, other than all of those other options, you get a choice of, of her chest piece really as well, which is amazing. Um, so if you do get a second one, they are gonna look very different, which I'm all up for that. And then uh, this is the another juicy sprue with all of the weapons and the heads. So you've got one with a bionic eye, you've got the, the helmeted one, which I think I might go for, uh, with the, um, some kind of wreath around her, her helmet. Then you've got one with a bionic eye with um, the hood up and then one, <laughs> looking very crazy without any hood at all. You've got a nice ornate uh, chain sword. That is uh, a lot of detail that they've, they've crammed onto that. Four fleur de lis icons uh, wrapped around the spine of the chain sword there. You've got this beautiful, beautiful blessed blade. I don't know why you take the power sword over this beautiful blessed blade. It looks thin and fragile, uh, but, but um, it's actually got a lot of detail embedded into the middle of the uh, the blade there, uh, the power sword just looks looks old and, and archaic compared to this uh, this beauty. Um, then you've got the Inferno pistol. Nothing amazing about that. Uh, you got the over. You've got the the rest of the cloak. You've got the Condemner bolt gun. There's something special about that. There's a few fleur de lis icons there, even on the uh, drum magazine. Uh, you've got the rod of office or null rod. That looks yeah. There's a load of detail on that one. The plasma pistol is uh, adorned with fleur de lis icons. The bolt pistol has one too. And the crossbow part uh, just looks quite straightforward for the uh, Condemner bolt gun. The iron halo thing, or halo, has this little bit here which needs to be clipped off very carefully. And there you go. So that's an in-depth look at all of the parts. I thought I'd do her justice because, because £22.50 
is extremely good value for this model, um, especially especially when you compare it to uh, the Hospitaler and even more so the Dialogus. In a way, the only thing I feel is missing, I say missing, would um, complement this model, is just a, a better base. But even this base, even this is, is you know, wh why do you need a bigger base with lots of things going on? This is subtle, it does the job, she's gonna look fantastic with the rest of your, your battle sisters. Um, she stands out enough and she has lots of uh, options. This really is a home run for Games Workshop. I can't pick apart this model at all. If she was £25, that would probably be still justifiable, but I'm so glad they went for this, this price point. I really am. It encourages me to buy a second Canon S, but crikey, then I'd have four Canon S's in total, wouldn't I? You can never have too many Canon S's. Anyway, that's my unboxing and first look. What's your impressions of the model? Please do put it in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching The Emperor Protects.